and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about this look that I have right here. Um, some of you requested to do a Valentine's Day look and I really wanted to do a Valentine's Day look for you guys. And um, let me take off this. This is the reason why I don't normally wear um, jewelry when I come on camera because um, they just make a lot of noise and my voice is a little squeaky and then the squeakiness of my voice and the mess of, of the accessories just kind of makes it like not cool so this video is gonna be about a nice uh, Valentine's Day look that you can do is very easy um, and most of the products that I use are basically all drugstore products so they're very affordable and most of the shadows that I have on my look today are actually from Milani and they actually sell them at the drugstore so you're not gonna be like um oh, but I don't have that palette it's like sixty dollars and I want to make that same look or anything like that um I'm more like I'm more of a bold uh a wing eyeline and red lipstick for Valentine's Day. I will try, fingers crossed, hopefully by next week, I can get you a sort of a pinkish, sort of pinkish rose gold, uh, rose gold pinkish look for you guys. If you don't like to do bright red lips, then I will definitely try my best to get you guys here at video that has to do with some sort of that color but before we jump on i have two things i have to say one is excuse the lighting excuse me moving different areas of my small makeup slash office slash recording studio um the thing is that i'm trying to get a position where the lighting is good the camera looks good and i have a pretty background and not only that the walls here are sort of like a yellowish tone so if you see me sort of yellowish it's because the lights are reflecting the walls so most of my videos come out yellowish or even in this one kind of looks yellowish so i'm trying to you bear with me i'm trying to do some changes around here that the videos will look a lot better in i have my lights and i have my camera and then it's just like this freaking walls and we're about to move hopefully so i'm not gonna paint the walls for a couple of more weeks that we're in here so please 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 bear with me uh let me know if the yellowish color is it probably just me seeing it or if it you see it and it bothers you let me know in the comments below because it's really really bothering me and i sort of wanted to share with you guys uh for me the main reason the main meaning of valentine's day it's not only about giving your loved ones some huge teddy bears expensive purses expensive um stuff i mean if you have it good i'm not saying that's something bad it is not don't quote me on that i think it's awesome my husband spoils me with gifts on valentine's day so don't get me wrong but it's something that i was actually um raised in and it's basically what this m month is all about is love and friendship and i really wanted to talk to you guys really quick about exactly what love is L uh, for me love is not love is not uh, early good morning text message or a good night kiss or or a huge teddy bear love for me is exactly what the word of the God says so I mean I'm gonna read really quick through you what love really is if you don't want to hear it you can fast forward and get started with the makeup but if you are a person who loves someone has a love person uh, you have someone that you love your husband you have your kids I really wanted to share with you See, papi, pomoroy. I really wanted to share with you guys exactly what love really is. It's in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4. And it says, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always a trust always hopes, always preserves, always perseveres. Love never fails. Ladies, for me, this verse, this two verses of the Bible really, really has helped me a lot with my relationship with my husband. You will face troubles in your marriage, in your relationship, and you want to know if you really love that person. Is your love kind? If your love is your love trustworthy? Is your love not looking for your own ways? It's really examined, made me examine the way I 
have my approach on love on my relationship. So with further ado, if you want to see how I shift this look for Valentine's Day using mostly drugstore products, all you have to do is keep watching. So here I am applying my primer. I'm using this Matchbox Photo Finish Primer. You can use any primer you like and of course the foundation that you also please. I'm using the Real Techniques uh, Face Expert Brush and I like this brush with this foundation because this foundation is very thick and this brush helps me get the foundation very well into my skin. So here I am uh, just applying the foundation all over my face and making sure that I blend everything correctly. I just went and did my eyebrows off camera and here I am I'm going to be using the Milani eyeshadow primer and also I'm using an eyeshadow base by NYX or NYX cosmetics the reason why I'm using two of these things is because I want to make sure that the colors do come out bright in my eyelid here I am using the wet and wild one of their um, eyeshadow palettes and I'm going in with the white color that is usually for the brow bone but why am I using that is because I'm going to use it as my base to emphasize more of the colors. Right now I am using the Milani Baked Shadows and that color is Bella Sand. It's sort of like a golden champagne-ish color and I'm just applying it to the lid of my eyes. And I'm going in with the gold of that palette and I am packing that on my lid. Make sure you um, dust it very well because it has a lot of fallout. Then I'm actually using the Brow Fix by Milani and I'm taking that middle brown to use it as my transition color. You can use any light brown shade that is matte that you have in your house. That is the only uh, drugstore foundation, I'm sorry, drugstore eyeshadow that I have that is close to the color that I want as my transition. So here I'm just blending it very well into the crease, it's sort of like in a circle, uh, round motion from one side of the eye into the other side. So this is just me packing on color and of course I need a blending brush to blend everything very well. Make sure there's no harsh lines or anything like that. So here I am again packing on that Bella Sand into my eyelid. It's just I really want to emphasize that gold on my lid. Again, it has a lot of fallout so make sure you uh, go ahead and dust it a little bit. And I am using from them, it was actually Bella Ivory for my brow, uh, my brow bone highlight. And I'm here going in with my ColourPop Cosmetics uh, Shocking Eyeshadow in the color Bandit. It's sort of a very nice uh, brown color. So you have a very deep brown, burgundy-ish color. Then you can use that to define your eyes and give it more um, definition. Here I just made a little line to see where I put my lashes. I curl my lashes and put a little bit of mascara so I can have everything very well outlined to go ahead and apply my falsies. And of course I'm blind as a bit, so I'm wearing my glasses. So what I'm doing here, I'm just applying um, glue to the lashes and I'm and just pretty much applying my lashes onto my lash line. And I want to make sure that I get them very close to my lash line. It's very hard, oops, it's very hard for me to get it actually with the uh, tweezer. So now here I am just going in with the Milani, uh, I think it's the Milani gel liner in black. And I'm just covering the lash line of the falsies and also making it a very bold wing eye line. Nah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and then I'm just packing on mascara to blend the lashes with my lashes with my lashes actually sometimes when you wear lashes and you wear um your liner this this colors sort of tend to wash out so you can just go ahead and go back in and apply a little bit more just to emphasize um emphasize it and here i am of course applying my concealer you can use any concealer you like unfortunately my favorite one is it cosmetics you don't find it at the drugstore so that's the one i'm using and after i Blend it. I'm gonna go ahead and set it with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder Foundation Powder. I'm sorry, and then I'm using actually the Bronzer Sunny by NYC. It's a very close dupe to the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. It's a matte, a bronzy color, so it's perfect for contouring. So I'm just contouring on the deepest part of my cheek, just bringing some definition and structure to my face, and a little bit on the temples of my face and my forehead. 
I like to bring a little darker because I like to give a little more color since I'm so pale. Now for blush, I am using the Milani Rose Blush in Love Potion. It's like a very nice deep uh, pink. And just with a blush brush, I'm using the Real Technique one. I'm applying it to the apples of my cheeks, moving it upwards. And I don't have a drugstore highlight, so I'm using Mary Luminizer. So if you have a drugstore highlighter, just go ahead and apply it uh, on top of your blush. And I like to bring it on top of my brow just to give it a little highlight effect. This is completely additional, but I love to contour my nose. My nose is huge. <laughs> and then what I'm doing is I'm going back in with that color from ColourPop, whichever dark color you may have. And with a pencil brush, I'm actually applying it to the bottom part of my lashes. And then with that golden color, I'm just going to put it on top of that brown so it matches my eyes. And then of course, do not forget about your bottom lashes, ladies. They're very, very important. And now for the lips, I'm wearing the new Milani Matte in Confidence. And it's a very deep red, which I love, love, love. And it's beautiful. So just pretty much fix it. And there you have it. This is the completed look. I see a little fallout on the lashes. Don't worry, I take care of that later. <laughs> so pretty much this is the look. Hopefully you found it interesting and you like it. Thank you. Well, loves, I hope you found it helpful. Again, sorry about that lighting. It is not my fault. I'm trying my best to get you good, good quality pro uh, videos out here for you guys. So if you find this video helpful, you like the tutorial, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share it with your friends so they can actually get an easy, affordable, cute, a girly, cute, a sexy, bold look for this Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. Be blessed, precious pearls. I will see you in my next video. Bye.